All right, guys, so this is a couple of days after recording my cousin's new car. He picked it up, but there are a few things that needs to be worked on. So today, I'm gonna be working on the door handle. Um, we're just gonna show you guys how to remove a broken door handle. They're a frequent thing that breaks on these cars. Man, the lighting's really bad. So we're gonna replace it, it's really easy, and we'll show you guys how we did it. Ooh, look at the rotors. Yeah, yeah, so we got all the rotors and everything. Those are the ones that doesn't work the bad ones? Car. I to, Yeah, I have to return them. Are you putting it back here so you can drift more? And it's yeah, heavier exactly. rear? Ah, I see what he's doing, I see what he's doing. I go. Oh yeah, also, this isn't an OEM. It's uh, made in China. How do you know? Because I asked him. <laughs> oh, the bucks. one that came with the car? No, no, this is the new yeah, one. I just bought. The new one's made in China? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. They make everything. So I know this is a Nissan. It's a, <laughs> it's a 350Z. I, I know it's, I know it's a 350Z. It's a Japanese car, and this is more of a Euro channel. But we're gonna have more videos of this, and more in detailed videos gonna be on my cousin's channel once he makes it. He's gonna make it once he wraps the car. Um, but that's in a future video. I think he's gonna do matte black. I'm not sure what to wrap, but whatever. I'm not gonna tell you guys either way. If, if he does, it's gonna be a surprise. Um, Hell yeah, it's a surprise. But you can clearly see from his shirt. Dude, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. But, um, yeah. So, right now, we're just gonna be doing the door. I'm gonna get my own car. My brother's gonna get his own car. It's gonna be kind of different cars, but it's gonna focus around my BMW and my other BMW that I'm picking up. It's gonna be my drift build. So, uh, yeah, let's just go on with the installation. Installation and uninstallation of the, the door handles. Just just the metal part. Oh, so what is that? Oh, yeah, that that old, it? It's from the old one. I need to take out the metal, just to this part. So this one comes with the door handles? No, no, this already comes with it. Okay, so we gotta pick that out. Just pull it out, like break it. Come oh, on, you put that in here? Yeah. Oh, never mind, don't break it then. Figure out how you take it out so you put it in. Yeah, that was easy. You got it out? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Not easy. Let's see what happens. Yeah. So stupid. See you guys, it's not just BMWs that have problems. It's about every single car. You already put that on? Oh, that was easy. All right guys, like with every other car project, this was supposed to be easy, but my dumb ass dropped a screw into the hole where you're supposed to get the screw out. So, now we have to take off the door panel and then um, basically get that screw out and then try to get the door panel off. I mean, the, the, the door handle off. So yeah, it's just extra work for no reason, but let me show you guys what we're doing. Huh? Did it just come out? Yeah. Yeah, it just came out. And now you just use a knife to take it out, and then there was just one. No. Uh, there was just one cable connected to it. Uh, so pretty much all the screws like on this is pretty easy. Unlike my BMW, everything was a different screw. It's just 10 millimeter for everything. There's one back here on the door. There's one in there. There was two for the door handles, and there's one right there after you take out the the control unit. And then right after that, we just pry open the door panel, and hopefully we just see the screw just sitting there waiting for us. All right, guys, we just took apart the entire door. That's the frame for the window, everything, and we found out that we the screw's not even there. We can't even find the screw. So we're just going to put on the door panel. Hopefully there's going to be no noise from the screw, and, you know, we'll just get over that screw. But as long as there's no noise, we're good. I'm trying to figure out how to put on the door panel right now. All right, guys, so we just put in the door handle. Um, it was, it was pretty easy. I mean, there's a lot of YouTube videos on how to do that. So we just got that in there. We got the screw door panel on and everything. Now we're going to put it all together. So if you guys did enjoy the video on how to replace the handle, please smash that like button. Um, I'm going to be bringing more Nissan, you know, 350Z content. I'm getting probably an E36 or an E46 or an E92. You guys are going to have to let me know. I'll see what's in my budget because I'm trying to get a car early as possible because I want to build it throughout the summer and have a project with you guys. So I'll probably sell it later on the road, but you know, just one for the summer and showing you guys what you guys can do to your cars. Or maybe I'll keep it if I, you know, learned, you know, I just, I fell in love with it or something. I don't know. We'll see.